Hello, everybody. Welcome to eLearn Chat, where talk is knowledge. And sometimes it's more. But today we're running a little bit late. We had some problems with hardware. Um, but we've got everyone here, and uh, we're going we're gonna to make this happen. Next to me, a mere 2,000 miles away or so, is Don Mahoney. Hey, Don, how are you? Hello, everyone. Hi, Rick. How are you? Now, you've got new lights. You've got the sunlight. Club. You've got all sorts of stuff over there. New microphone. Yes, I have a blue microphone. Are you excited? Yeah, I like it's blues. Blue. blue makes good stuff. It's a blue snowflake yep. for travel purposes. Those are nice. Yeah, so if you can hear me, then it's a good thing. Yeah, and today we're going to learn a little bit about Camtasia, aren't we? Uh, we're going to learn a lot about Camtasia, I cool. hope, and um, using it as a development tool. And also, uh, Michelle mentioned that she has a little bit of information for us to uh, entice us uh, about building products that we could sell. And that make sounds, a little extra cash. That sounds great. You want to introduce our guest? I'd love to. Michelle Shane is half of the company uh, www.learncamtasia.com, and I've participated in a few recent webinars with her and thought she'd be a great asset to our show. So welcome, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Rick. <laughs> nice to Hi. see you. <laughs> you too. Are you, are you uh, running a second monitor so you can see us online or... No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I, I I see Rick, his image, but I've seen you, Don, because I have. Uh, you sent me the link to your eLearn chat videos, and so I'm visualizing you. Okay. <laughs> I saw you on those. Well, I'm wearing pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's been a big month of donating towards that this month. That's. That's right. So tell us a little bit more about, um, and when I mentioned earlier about she's half of Learn Camtasia, the other half is Lon Naylor. He also lives in Wisconsin, and I'm hoping I get to meet him at some point. But tell us a little bit about how you got started with Camtasia and building your company and so forth. Uh, well, Don, I used to work in the corporate world, IBM, AT&T, uh, as an instructional technologist. And so I had a good background in using e-learning tools, but I had first heard of Camtasia. I'd never used it when I was in e-learning, uh, when, when I was in e-learning. And uh, I had thought of it as a tool that worked pretty exclusively for software demos. If you were going to record your screen showing a software application, then Camtasia was the tool to use. And I just didn't have the need for that at the time. And then I left the corporate world and decided to go out on my own doing contract work and started using the tool the first time was to record someone's webinar because Camtasia is mo mo uh, mostly known as a screen recording software. So it works great for recording and editing webinars. So once I got a hold of it and started using it for that, I started experimenting. And this was, I guess, um, back in 2008, 2009, with using it for more e-learning. And then I found that you could do a lot of interactivity with it, that it had the quiz feature. Um, now the version has multiple video tracks, multiple audio tracks. It does animation. It has everything I need. So instead of using Articulate and Captivate and, and some of the other uh, custom solutions that we used to use, I pretty exclusively use Camtasia. And there was not a lot of online training that existed. Uh, so I met Lon Naylor over the internet because he was also interested in Camtasia and I just we started talking over the blog and through texts and decided to form a company called Learn Camtasia uh, back in 2009 I believe it is and so we our company trains people how to use all the different features of Camtasia and also how to create their own information products on whatever niche they happen to know about and sell it on the internet so it's been it's been great i also have a a side business called va demo girl where i use camtasia to uh... to help 
others create videos and do video, do video screencasts for um, people on the internet, mostly solopreneurs and really small businesses uh, that want some help creating screencast video. Now, what does the VA stand for? Well, it stands for Virtual Assistant. Okay. Yeah, when I first came onto the internet, I really didn't I didn't know what I was going to be doing. I was just interested in in making money doing something while I was at home with my kids for the first year and I found the term virtual assistant and a lot of the VAs that I'd come in, across said they were making, you know, $50 an hour or so doing helping people in a technical way. And so I started out as a virtual assistant doing videos for people with Camtasia actually before creating the company Learn Camtasia with Lawn Nailer. That's great. So I just kept that site and I kept the name VA because it was pretty pretty branded already. As a VA demo girl, it was already pretty popular um, within my niche. <laughs> so now, now one thing nice about Camtasia, and we've used it quite a bit, it, it is actually a full-blown video editor, but it's easy compared to to a real full-blown video editor it's it's a lot simpler um i think so <laughs> yeah it's, it's powerful and it does pretty good rendering it's it's a really cool tool what most people don't really know that camtasia has interactivity what what are some of the the pros and cons of using camtasia for interactivity well it has what's called hot spots, and I don't know if, this, if it's the same terminology that's used in some of the other tools, but, but when you create a hot spot, that means that it's the, whatever area you put it on is clickable. Mm -hmm. So you can, people can create, let's just say if you use it along with PowerPoint, or you can use it by itself too, but obviously PowerPoint has more uh, in the way of more animation and more uh, more graphic abilities than Camtasia does. So what I often do will I create a screen in PowerPoint asking a question and then have three button choices below it and then I'll import that into Camtasia and I'll make each button a hotspot so that when they click on it they have the choice of going to another screen in the video, which is you know your answer, your feedback, or they can go outside of the tool onto the internet to maybe there would be a hotspot that says learn more and it'll go out to another website to another page with perhaps documentation or something like that or or this hotspot can have them either continue in the video or, or stop. So, so you can do I'm not going to say that it's it's not nearly as robust, say, as something you can do in Articulate. For example, Articulate will give you the ability to do a lot more serious branching from one thing to another to another. Um, and also, I think Articulate has the ability to have maybe a pop-up. I mean, you can simulate that in Camtasia, but it, it, it would be another PowerPoint screen with the illusion of something popping up mm -hmm. that it would be going to. So, um, and then, of course, Captivate allows you to, you know, really s simulate being in the software. I, I would have to say that, you know, if you're looking for some heavy interactivity, then of being in a software tool and having everything you click on, you know, actually look like you're in the tool, I wouldn't choose Camtasia for that. So, you know, to be to be honest with you, I would say that that Camtasia can have a really good amount of interactivity, but it's not um, as deep as the the other e-learning tools. So it, but but she, you know, the last. The last five years that I've been using Camtasia exclusively, I have not found that to be a problem. Um, I never really did all kinds of crazy branching and, and tons of pop-up things anyways. So I found that the ability to record your screen in such great detail that Camtasia does and the amazing 
editing features and the amount of interactivity it, it allows you is plenty good enough for all the e-learning that I've been asked to do through different businesses and corporations. Yeah. Now, have you worked with both the Mac and the PC version? No, I'm not a Mac person. Uh, I, I know that the Mac version is good, but it's about a third of the price, so it doesn't really have all the features that the PC version has. We don't actually teach Mac, and over at Learn Camtasia, we don't mm -hmm. uh, teach that version. One of these days. Yeah. My daughter's getting a Mac. I'm getting her one for Christmas, so maybe I'll get into it, and I'll, and I'll add that to it. That's the ver version I would buy. Uh, the question out in the chat room, the first one is, do you typically then begin in PowerPoint and then bring assets over, or are there times when you just start developing natively in Camtasia? How do you make the decision? If, if what you're doing is mostly screen capture of a software application or screen capture of a website, I, I use Camtasia a lot for website tours or membership site tours, anything you know, behind the scenes where you want to actually show yourself clicking and things and showing drop downs and moving in and out of, and, and, and things happening on the screen. If it's mostly that, I start with Camtasia recording my screen and then generally I'll go back to PowerPoint just to create a title screen, which you can create in Camtasia, but I happen to like the more graphic, a more graphical t uh, title screen than perhaps you could get in Camtasia. So I'll create the title screen for it and then perhaps some summary screen at the end and then import them in. But if, if what you're teaching is more along the lines of soft skills, I'm going to do, I'm going to start in PowerPoint and do a, most of my screens in PowerPoint. It may all be PowerPoints. So what I would do in that case is if it's all PowerPoint, then I'm going to use PowerPoint to record and I'm going to be clicking through the slides and, and, and using my voiceover in PowerPoint. Then, you know, in PowerPoint 2010, it allows you to save it out as a, as a video, a WMV. So I would take that and then import it into, uh, into Camtasia and then um, do any additional things I wanted to. Like if I wanted to add hotspots to it. Um, and by the way, you guys, are you guys hearing um, the buzzing noise outside my window? Is it time for me to, to tell him to stop? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We it's not enough to, to, to be bothersome. Not enough, enough to chase oh, you away. Oh. Okay, yeah, I didn't realize uh, <laughs> the yard people were going to be coming today. Um, okay, <laughs> well, anyways, uh, so, so that, that really makes the, di the, the difference as to how much is going to be a screen capture versus PowerPoint screens, and that will help decide where I start. And then thank you for that. And then another question is about um, learning more about the in quizzing uh, features of Camtasia. And of course, we're talking about TechSmith, and I think all of us love TechSmith products, the uh, Snagit and Camtasia and all. So, um, what do you got about qu the in quizzes? Uh, all right, well, they have a nice uh, quizzing feature that allows you to accept multiple choice responses, um, fill in the blank responses, true or false, and then the open-ended uh, ones would, would obviously have to be graded manually, but you know, where somebody is just typing in a whole paragraph of, of information. Uh, so, and then you can ha uh, set feedback, and if it's correct or incorrect, and then, uh, and you can have multiple quizzes within the same video or multiple questions, say, or, yeah, I guess you can have multiple qu quizzes of many questions. And in the end, they pile together, uh, compulate, <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> um, put, put all the scores together, and then you can choose if you want it sent directly to your email, and look at it that way, or a report can be sent, uh, Camtasia, there's people at TechSmith, excuse me, mm -hmm. have, a, have a database where they will take all the scores, cr 
create a, a report for you on a daily basis and then spit, uh, spit those reports back to you in, uh, I guess it's uh, comma delimited or, or Excel spreadsheet. And they can tell you uh, things like not just the scores, but where the person left off, what questions they, they didn't answer. So there's, uh, so there's, it's a really, real, it's, it, with Camtasia 8, it's a tremendous uh, quizzing, re quiz reporting whereas we didn't have quite as much in Camtasia 7, so it's come a long way. Now, one of the things that uh, we have your website up right now, and we have a little thing that you are offering a discount in training, a $100 discount. Um, I think it's Coach Me is the right. coupon or code word. Um, right. You can, you can go to, um, I have an easier link than the one that, <laughs> that, that you're looking at right now. It's it's a learncamtasia.com forward slash training. Okay. So, so if you go to that link, you know, it'll redirect you to the same page you're at. But um, <coughs> it's a little easier to remember than the long URL I sent you earlier. And yes, if you type in Coach Me, you'll get $100 off the regular price. So it'll be $297. And that's, that's for the full course. Uh, and that lasts eight weeks, but you do have lifetime access to all the videos afterwards. So it's a combination of video and live coaching. And, uh, and if you just want to learn a little bit more about us, you can just go to the LearnCamtasia.com site and uh, type in join for free, and we'll just send you tutorials and tips and all that fun stuff. That's great. You know, one thing I love about Camtasia is I don't think there's any screen recorder as good as it. I know on the Mac there's ScreenFlow, which is pretty good, but I find Camtasia just, especially on Windows, just absolutely the best. I haven't seen anything that does quite as yeah, good a job. Yeah, it's crystal clear, yeah. and the, yeah, just the screen resolution is great, and the amount of editing in it. And there's, I know there's open source tools which I I have not used yet, but. But they don't allow editing, and if they do, it's really minimal. So, but with Camtasia, you can have you can just mix things up so much. You can you can have full motion video if you want to. You uh, it has a, a built in uh, you know recorder that webcam that records your webcam. So you can introduce a video, for example, um, either. If you wanted to have just you know the head is fine, or you can go full length and and if, for example, I have a green screen, and uh, I have that behind me, not right now, <laughs> but uh, what Camtasia has is the ability to to do the chroma key, which which allows you to have like a walk-on presenter, and the background is transparent, so you're seeing the PowerPoint screen behind them. Or, or the software or whatever video you might have going on and it can be moving and it can be animated and you can be pointing to things and I mean I, I think that's really cool I think people like that a lot and uh, that's a fairly new feature as well and then so you can mix this full motion video of yourself or full motion video of say you're recording something in you know industrial how something works and then you bring in the full motion video, and you bring in PowerPoints, and then and then your screen recording, and you can do all the editing and add the music, and the and then it comes with a, a whole library full of music, uh, royalty free, as well as a lot of animated uh, intros to videos, so you don't have to come up with something custom, and then. I'm just trying to remember, there's just so many different features. You can hide the cursor or bring it in because a lot of people when they're doing screen recordings, they'll like kind of move their mouse around. So there's that ability and then uh, a lot of new animated, animated features. So I'm forgetting stuff, but, That's but yeah, cool. it's just all I need right now. I didn't realize that they did green screening. That's actually a really neat feature. A lot of people ask me, how yeah. do I do green screen? I give them all these complex solutions and oh, so that'd be easy. a lot easier to do Camtasia. There, it's yeah. on Camtasia 8, right? I don't think it came on 7. It's uh, the latest version of Camtasia, which is 
Yes, and they call it remove a color. It's under the visual properties. Oh, okay. And you don't, and you don't, yeah, they just, they don't call it green screen. It's just remove a color. So, I mean, theoretically, you could have a uh, red sheet behind you, as long as you weren't wearing red. You know, it doesn't have to be green. <laughs> it's any color that you want to remove. That's cool. That's a nice they feature. Have a they have a tutorial out on the TechSmith um, blog, how to do that. They just tweeted it a couple weeks ago, so how to do that. So it's fairly recent. Um, well, do you have any more questions? about MP4s and SCORM and Tin Can. So whenever you want to talk about outputs and uh, SCORM capability, let me know. And we've got about three minutes left. So um, <laughs> we don't have a lot of time to get into that. However, we'd love to have you back on another time so that we can get a little bit more in depth with you and and unfortunately, hopefully we won't have the hardware issue we had today, um, which unfortunately delayed yes, us. the garden people won't be blowing the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the mulch off the driveway too. <laughs> that, that used to happen when I was teaching our leadership academy and my organization and our uh, former CEO had a very soft speaking voice and that was always the time when the landscape guys would come. Every time. <clears throat> Yep, it it usually was, works oh that way. Oh my gosh! I know. Yeah. I should have put a big sign out there, recording. Yeah. You know, the Come benefit back to having the CEO show up and uh, be par participating is so uh, wonderful. But his time was a little bit short, and then to have the landscaping blowers going was always kind of a detriment. So, do you think we have time for one more question? Yeah, so um, when you output the movies, uh, the Camtasia events, uh, I just use movie generically, it, uh, what are your choices for output, MP4, et cetera? Yes, um, so M MP4 and is, is the one that's used most often. And it, Camtasia has its own player, which is an HTML5, which means that it can play in just about any device and all the interactivity is is still retained so that's the that's the one that most people use and then I often use it to create DVDs as well and sell them on Amazon hmm. uh, because as I said we also teach people how to create their own products and, and sell them so so I output to WMV or AVI and then burn it to a DVD and then and then sell these uh, and then you you know there's a multitude of other not as popular outputs. I mean you can also output to I think it's M four V, which <coughs> is maybe iTunes. Uh, you can output to play on an iPod, iPhone, um, I can, an iPad. I can't think of other things you would want to output to. Yeah. You can it send out just the audio if you want. Needed. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I was just saying you can also just output the audio, like, for example, in some of the products. Well, let's just put it this way. People use Camtasia a lot to, for sales videos uh, and marketing. And so sometimes I'll output just the audio and send it out to the podcasting stations. And I'll output my videos and I'll send them to iTunes. To just to bring back uh, more traffic, you know, to your site if you're selling something. Oh, okay. Now, the one thing they did get rid of, which I know some people were irritated at, and it didn't bother us too much, but they don't do the flash export anymore, which was real popular a couple years back. That's gone. Yeah, right. You can't output to just SWV or, or FLV mm -hmm. uh, anymore, but I will... I think the hand there are conversion software. Right. Um, I'm I'm thinking of Handbrake possibly Handbrake.fr mm -hmm. that may convert the video for you. Yeah, Handbrake, uh, Adobe Media Encoder will do it. Um, so okay. there's there's a lot of good choices there on that. Well, we are at the end of our time, and Michelle, well, we really awesome. appreciate you coming on. Sure, I enjoyed it. Thank you very much <clears throat> for inviting me. And next time, maybe we'll have both you and Lana at the, at the same time. Right now, we had a we had a physical constraint of only having two Skype machines that we can call at any one time. But we've got a third one in the wings, and oh. that'll that'll come online fairly soon. We're going to be moving studios pretty pretty quickly, so then we'll we'll add a third one, so we'll have more capability. Awesome. So we can get both of you on next time. That, yeah, that'll be great. He's got his own perspective on on all kinds of things to do with.
screencasting and in PowerPoint. So yeah, he'd be a great, great one to though, though I was told we got the pretty one today. He's that. That's not him. <laughs> that's, so. what he said, oh, yeah. that's what he told us. <laughs> <In his own> way. <laughs> You know what else he likes, Rick? Your favorite thing. He likes gear. So uh, gear. I like you gear. You have to have me on this show. <clears throat> okay, so. that'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah, so gear is I, good. Yeah, we'll, never... uh, we'll definitely have you back. Um, I hope you'll be available. Thank you. Yeah. I'll make sure I am. That There's sounds a good. Whole lively conversation in the chat pod. And, and if people want to get a hold of you, Michelle, what's the best way to get a hold of you? They can contact me through my Gmail account. It's Camtasia Trainer at gmail.com okay and the website is www.learncamtasia.com yes and if, by the way if they want to see all different types of videos that have been made with camtasia uh, i have a portfolio page over at the va demo girl okay dot site uh, there's a good 20 uh, videos on the portfolio that have been all all been created with camtasia and PowerPoint so they can see what the possibilities are. And that's VADemoGirl.com? Uh-huh. Great. All right. Well, we appreciate, again, having you on, Dawn, as always. And if you're watching the show um, on the recording, please subscribe. Give us your feedback. We'd love hearing from you. If you're in the chat room, thanks for chatting. We'll see you next week Thank on you. eLearn Chat. Okay. Have a good one, everyone. And we will be back, Dawn and I, in about 15 minutes for immediate chat. So... <laughs> We're going to talk a little bit about media today in Photoshop. So have a good one, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.